Recovery, resilience and rebuilding. Three words communities across South Georgia are focusing on tonight as the impact of Adalia is assessed. I'm Alan Devlin. And I'm Tracy Hutchins. Atlanta News first reporter Joshua Skinner live at five in Valdosta, a city in Lowndes County torn apart by the storm. And Joshua Governor Brian Kemp visited within the last couple of hours and spoke a short time ago. What did he say about recovery efforts? Yeah, we're now hearing for the first time about the early portions of those recovery efforts as well as the costs of the damage. It's the first time we've heard from them here today at the Lowndes County Commissioner's Building. Now, we also learned something interesting about the track of Adalia. It may have hit Florida the hardest, but the longest track actually came through Georgia, and a lot of that was through farmland, rural areas. And some of that damage could be quite significant, a heavy toll. The state ag commissioner says to expect huge losses in crops, including a 60% hit in this year's pecan crop and a loss of up to a fourth of the state's pecan trees. Now, in terms of power outages, there were about 270,000 outages across North Georgia as a result of Adalia. Nearly 70,000 of those homes still remain without power. And based on the damage we've seen, it might be a week or more before power is restored to some of those areas. And because it's not just as simple as driving into an area and replacing a transformer. Our biggest concerns continue to be getting roads cleared so we can get our power company personnel to the places they need to be to get power back on. We still have a few water issues that are mainly because we don't have power to those water uh, systems and we are working hard to alleviate that. Now, Governor Kemp has also requested FEMA declare a disaster, which would help with federal funds in South Georgia. But neighbors already helping, neighbor state already helping state. We saw work crews as far away from as far away as Ohio cutting down trees, working on power lines over the past couple of days. We also know that all of the states in the southeast have reached out to Georgia, offering some kind of state assistance. However, Governor Kemp says Georgia has all the state help it needs right now. Reporting live in Valdosta, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First. All right.